Guys, look how busy it got on the ice here. It's like some sort of an Olympic ice, ice skating place. Huh? Yeah, and it started to melt. I mean... What? Let's start foying. Oh, yeah. Defrosting. I don't understand the other word Mike is saying. My English isn't that <laughs> advanced. So I call it defrosting. Look at them. Everybody's coming. Look at them. More people are coming. How cute is this? I love it. It's cute. It's cute. But I'm just worried that people are going to start dropping through the ice. Like they have been yesterday and the day before. Let me zoom in. But it's so cute. Our, our canal is now one of the most popular ice skating canals here in Amsterdam. <laughs> Look at that. It is nice. I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it is nice to see it, especially because I am a huge, huge fan of the old Dutch paintings, where you see this kind of stuff, you know, uh, Dutch people uh, wearing traditional Dutch clothes and children playing uh, on ice and all that. I'm a huge fan of Dutch paintings of the early Dutch um, life and the Dutch ships on the sea. I love that, love that. It's something you can make me happy with. So anyway, so to see this really reminds me of that more or less. Oh, I'm sorry, I was holding the camera up. Sorry. So look at that. It's Mike, it's getting crazy here on the ice. Yeah. I mean, so many people. Yeah, Mike is gonna put on some clothes. He just left the shower. We don't wanna be the next thing to be. <laughs> we, we don't want the attention to go from this to Mike naked behind the, 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 the window. We don't wanna give the people the misunderstanding that maybe the red light district is now moved to here. But seriously, look at that. I mean, as happy as it makes me to look at it, as nervous as it makes me. I mean, look at that. You, you guys see that part around the, around the bridge? It's starting to melt under the bridge, not around the bridge, under the bridge. Around the bridge, which you, which you see, the arch is actually f uh, um, fresh frozen. It's been, uh, it's been just, you know, regular water, not frozen for the longest time. And since uh, last night, it froze over also. But you can see under the bridge that the water there is just is still going. But this, and this is so far, I think, one of the, the, the warmest days, maybe. We've been sitting around nine below zero, below freezing, nine below zero. And today is about four. When we woke up, it was about four. Guys, we just did live streaming in the middle of these two videos, but people are also ice hockeying on the ice here. I think it's wonderful. I mean, people are happy, so. We need to start to see happy people again. Like Dr. Alban sings, happy people. But yeah, as long as they're safe, None of them is wearing a mask, but um, I'm not gonna preach about masks. People don't care, people don't care, they should know for themselves, but they do seem happy and it's fun to watch. The ice hockey, little game that they have going on there. It was actually one of these ice hockey sticks that uh, saved the life of that kid that fell through the ice. So maybe it's a good thing they have a couple of them here. Look, more people are coming. Can you guys see the girl holding her ice skaters? She just don't, doesn't know, I think, where to uh, get on the ice. That's the problem. Well, there is a little stair right there, but now it used to be public, but now it's part of a private uh, boat company that does, uh, that does boat tours. So I think they closed it off. So no idea actually how to get on the ice.
guys, one last thing. I don't know. I'm not the person that can really do last thing. <laughs> but no, no, no I can't do last thing. No. So, so just deal with it. I'm sorry. Yes. Hey, except me for who I am. These, like yeah, Mike has been accepting it for what, 14 years. So these these houseboats are now being rented again uh, as Airbnb because they've been dead uh, for almost seven months, maybe. So there's now uh, the Airbnb business is is um, yeah coming to life again. So there is definitely some sort of um, thing going on in the air. Like I don't know, spring is in the air. Spring is in the air. There's there's life. There is these houseboats are going to be you know buzzing again and stuff and all that so that's why i had to share that with you guys hang on there spring is coming guys me and mike are watching this tour inside a cargo ship you know those huge cargo ships all you see on deck are these huge containers and it's crazy how big it is, how complicated it is, and how huge, it's huge. It has about five or six uh, levels. It's crazy. And I was just telling Mike that our second home that we've had here in Holland, since I moved to Holland, um, was on the Amsterdam's Rijk Canal, which is one of the biggest rivers that we have here running through, uh, among other cities, Utrecht. So, and we were living on this big river and these cargo ships would come by. Me and mom would make coffee and just sit there and enjoy. For, uh, you know, and the rest was just a nature area. And we were just always wondering about these ships. What kind of ships are these? Who are Who is inside and all that? Where would they be going? So when I saw a tour, a tour inside a cargo ship on YouTube, just had to watch it. And I'm just amazed that I could have never guessed that this is how it is. This is crazy. They're so big and so compl complex, so many networks and computers and rooms and it's just a beehive of technology. Beautiful. I was actually, I applied to be a Marine, but then my father didn't want to let me. I thought he would be happy, you know, to have me man up a little bit, but uh, no. He actually resisted, so that's why I didn't. I was about to be Marini, guys. What about that? Me. Guys, sushi time. Uh, look at this to personalize it. Yes, we do love sushi. And Sumo is actually one of the best here yeah, in Amsterdam. We, we usually go there. We usually go there, yeah. But it has been. A while. It has been a year since we were there. I think the last time was when we came back from Disney, but not really sure. This no, is this. Not, not even. Seaweed. Look. We love the seaweed. Somebody smells fish. Yes. It's Miko. Look at that. He just had his dinner. No. Ah, that guy's sweet. I called him because I forgot to order the ginger and, and all that and the wasabi. He's like, no problem. I'm going to add. Whoa. What is this? Soy sauce. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So that isn't necessary. So, uh, we know that it doesn't... well, no, I told, you know, I said, what do you think? I said, this, this is how much we order. What do you think? I mean, is it enough? So this is what we got. And then we also got, oh my God, you guys, I am so hungry. We haven't had lunch to just be, this is the sashimi. We haven't had lunch to be able to enjoy this even more. We've been an anticipating this since last night. Yes. This is what you do during COVID times. Look forward to sushi delivery. Because we love it so much. And what, what's the other one, Mike? What's the other one there? This California, Mike. Oh, yeah. These guys. Oh, you can smell it. You can smell the freshness of it all. Uh, I think they made a mistake. Just one sea f seaweed salad? Yeah, and other salad? I think they were out. They, we were supposed to get two seaweed salads, I think, but I can, I can I be mistaken. two different salads. But... Okay. But yeah, you guys, you can smell it. Look at him, he's going crazy. Ah, oh. uh, sweetie. All right. 
Happy Valentine's Day. So it's now 5 p.m. And look, it's all deserted. There's no one, literally no one. Not a single person left ice skating. <laughs> I feel like we're, I feel like we're living on the side of one of these ice skating places. I don't know how you call these. Arenas, ice skating arenas, yeah. So guys, there was this little girl that, well not, she was a little girl. There was this girl that um, was doing all kind of stuff while ice skating. She really seemed like semi-professional. So I was telling Mike, I forgot the film. I'm just remembering it right now. She was really good, like turning, spinning around with her arms on her chest and you know, the stuff you see. Professionals do, but um, yeah, all gone now, all back home. Still have the curfew, but that's still a couple uh, hours away. The ice still hasn't melted completely. And just like that, the weather can change drastically, just like that here in Holland. Sorry guys, we were having breakfast. But can you, can you guys see that? It's raining on the surface of the frozen uh, canal. Just like that. Yesterday, people were ice skating and now it's melting. <laughs> That's what you get for living under the sea, under the sea, because that's what we're living with the fishes. Okay, just a little bit. This is what it is after three days. So, oh yeah. Oh, they've started, Mike. Started what? Well, the city people, they're going to reinforce these walls along the canals. It's going to take for two years at least, you guys. They've started. Send us letters, all the, you know, the residents here on this side. So they're going to reinforce these walls, but first they're going to do like in between job, like a fixer upper, and then do it for real. So it's going to take... For at least two years, at least, I think. Then again, they have these people to deal with because these people have to go, but then they have to come back. So maybe that will put some pressure, like I said, I think in one of the early videos. But uh, yeah, look at this. In the same video that you're watching, guys, people were ice skating. And now the end of this video, look, it's almost completely melted. You see, here's something. This is the ice, the rest is melted. Only in three days. Well, not only in three days, it took three days, but it's still melting as you can see right here.